guys, so hopefully you can hear me. Darren's truck's running and it's a little loud. I got this terrible sty um, that has decided it wants to tag along. Um, it's getting a bit better, but it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Um, it is a beautiful snowy day on the shoe shop. Um, we're just actually packing up to go. Uh, we spent some time with family, enjoyed some time with family. Uh, didn't get up to any vlogging besides our trip to uh, Kelowna in that video you guys should have already seen. Um, but yeah, just wanted to touch base and uh, show you guys around a little bit and then, yeah, and then uh, we're on our way. So we got the skid steer running, so it's a little bit of a disaster. Um, they actually just bought this property, so um, they're just getting it all kind of ready. Oh, it's a little slick up here. Um, I got it all zoomed out. Oh, it was definitely zoomed in on myself. Darren's truck's super loud. She's just living in a trailer right now. Um, this hill is going to be the death of me. It is so slippery. But super loud. Whoopsies. Hopefully you can still hear me. But yeah. A lot of work's been done. Got the trailer right here. And then yeah. It's actually super cozy in there right now. But yeah, a lot of garbage obviously. It's all kinda coming together and just bought it this spring. There's the lake right there. Nice and close with the mountains behind. We do a ton of boating, so that'll be cool. There's a little shack in here. Well, it's just a bedroom and a bathroom for now. Darren's just having a shower, so I won't show you guys around. But yeah, this is the view. It's pretty. Pretty cool lake. And yeah, so make sure you guys are around. Just built this last, or just in the spring before the snow came, so that was nice. And yeah, let's go see the dogs. It's a little bit of a disaster, and there you move from a home into absolutely nothing. No space at all. Oh, we got the TV going. What, you gotta go outside? But yeah, it's actually super cozy in here. There's Darren's boy. Hey, look, he's naked. He just ended up getting shaved here yesterday. He had to get an ultrasound, but he's enjoying it. Oh, it's not focusing. There you go. Yeah, and there's Clyde guy. Hey, Clyde. Hi, Clyde guy. Oh, big flop over. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It was Christmas time and the dogs have toys to suffice themselves for quite a while. And they've already destroyed some, of course, because that's what dogs do. And yeah. But yeah, super cozy. Darren's mom actually does some really cool stained glass. So she hung up some things. And there's the Christmas tree. Phenomenal little things. And yeah, so that is the little, I don't know, 
show you around for a bit, and then uh, we're going to hit the road as soon as Darren's mom comes back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed last video. It was pretty cool actually seeing an avalanche. You don't see that every day. We didn't really get too much of it on video. Got the um, helicopter flying over top, but pretty cool. If you search up uh, Revelstoke Avalanche, I'll leave a link down below and then uh, you guys can check it out. There's actually a video of it. It's pretty cool. Just a girl and her puppy. Oh, that's kind of intense actually. I don't think I'm walking on that. Why? Look at it. Babe, that is so sketch. New cattle. Huh? Don't they do this new cattle? No. Hmm? Babe, don't kill my dog. What? I said don't kill my dog. Is it only a one person? Oh no. Yeah. Okay, well, the good thing is, babe, walk. Babe, please don't. <laughs> So I actually read up on this bridge and apparently farmers used to live on that side and in order for them to come back to this side, this was the only path that they could use and it's actually just a footpath. But in order for them to come and get their groceries and stuff, they had to use that path and walk over to this side. It's pretty cool and uh, yeah. Looked it up on the way here and thought I should come check it out. It looked pretty cool. So that avalanche we went uh, where we were stopped at, they're actually trying to move snow off the hill right now. As you can see, look at the amount of snow that came off that avalanche. Pretty crazy stuff. Driving through Rogers Pass in the clouds, have blocked off that mountain for the most part except the peak. Looks pretty cool. We have about, I don't know, four hours left? Yes, four there. hours? No, three hours, four hours. Depends on how many times you stop. Okay. We have about four hours left, three hours left, whatever. Apparently I didn't get a clear enough answer, but I won't judge them because I don't even know. And oh man, that looks terrible. But anyways, yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy this drive. Have a fluff on your beard. Look at it, look at it. Save it for later. Cute. Where's my little puppers? Back there, oh look it. He's so sleepy. He's got this big bed. We uh, just pack all our stuff in there and then throw his blanket and our jackets back there and he's pretty content. Works out. Can I please get a medium dark roast coffee black? And a medium ice cap with a vanilla shot in it please. And that's every that's everything. Adventure that great big world out there, little man. 
<laughs> Maybe they might give you cookies. Sometimes no, I doubt I do. it. Thank you. He's right out the window. Thank right. you, good sir. Close the window. Close the window. Boosie didn't get nothing. How rude. Those of you that have never seen Tim Hortons, you're missing out. Order yourself an ice cap. It's way better. So we packed some stuff for sandwiches. So I'm going to make Darren and I a sandwich on the go. So we made it home. It was about a seven hour drive and uh, yeah, it didn't do much after that. So we're just gonna hit the hay. My eye got worse, I think. So just silly little sty, but anyways, yeah. So we're gonna call it a night. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I'll post my next video. Um, this one will be out on Thursday. And yeah, remember, I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.